I'm going to show you how to turn any map into a 3D printed model using three simple steps. First, go to OpenStreetMap, go to the area, and export map. First method is to use OSM to world. You download OSM to world, import the map, and then you got a 3D model. I export it as OBJ file here. Then use any software that can open OBJ file. You need to clean up the model a little bit, turn off some layers, delete some very detailed elements, and fill up some areas too. Second method is to use Rhino and Grasshopper. You need to download Elk, which is a plugin for Grasshopper. You just link the OSM map file with all these batteries. You need the building data. You also need some data for the roads, the highways, and parks. And you connect all these dots into polylines, and you bake them. And here you have to do the work manually. I like to combine the two methods together because right now Grasshopper doesn't give you very detailed buildings, but OSM to World will give you buildings with some details. So I'm combining them together and you can see the parks doesn't get a lot of context here. So I have to extrude some context manually. The model you get from OSM to World most of the time, it has some floating objects. Do remember to clean those up. I like to build a boundary with a scale, in this case, one to 8,000. Um, and now I'm cutting out the buildings outside of the boundary. When it comes to 3D printing, it's quite straightforward. You can see there's still some floating objects here that I need to clean up in the 3D modeling software. And now I'm rotating my model because I'm using a dual color filament. It's a gold and black dual color filament. And I want the south, the gold color to face south to mimic the direction of sunlight. I'm only printing a very small model, but it still takes about five hours on Bamboo Lab. Here's the final print. I need to extrude the park context a little more because in this scale, the park extrusion is too small to print.